What's up, everyone? It's me, Ivan, and we're we're here to to fix the accolade once again. So in the last video, we talked about first impressions, and that is one of the main problems I think this show has. Uh, whenever it presents a character, sometimes the character is presented in an awkward way, but also scenes later, the the character just is not defined. It's kind of flip floppity. It's kind of like, uh, is he good or bad or anything? So we don't have necessarily definition with the characters. So if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. Um, you'll most likely find it. If not, I'll make a playlist. But anyways, we're here to to fix another 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 thing, and that is uh, during the during the last moments of the fight between the confrontation of Trinity and our Acolyte. Now remember, we want we want the Acolyte to feel intimidating. We want the Acolyte to feel intimidating and, um, and to continue improving the pacing of the fight. So in, originally, the scene goes like this. And she goes for the kill, right? Then we have a lightsaber turning on. And there's our first problem in a, in a, in a way. The problem is that the music is not helping the pacing of the, um, of the fight. Why? Because we have those triumphant trumpets giving... Um, given signal like oh this is a triumphant moment i get it i get why they put it but the problem is that the fight is still happening and you don't want to break the pacing of the fight just by having those triumphant um melodies because you haven't won yet so what i decided to do and again this is a rough cut this will change but at least you get the idea of what i'm going for I'm not saying that I've like I'm married to this music, but it's just it's just as the bass, okay? This is a long process. I decided to add war drums to just kind of keep with the pacing of the fight. And then whenever she goes for the kill, uh, I decided to lower the the music of the of the the triumphant trumpets to just kind of you know still keep the pace of the of the fight without having to to like be like oh a lightsaber got turned on yay you know like no 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 this is a thing that's happening in a fight. <laughs> So there you go. Now, here we go to the to the infamous to the infamous scene when uh, Master Trinity gets stabbed. Now she gets stabbed. There's nothing that I can do about it. There's there's no cutting around it. Like that's that's the way it is. That that's it. But here's the thing, and this is why I believe it didn't necessarily work on the on the show. Aside from the fact that you know we've had a lot of like Star Wars properties with characters not dying from lightsabers. Remember, my re-edit of the Acolyte takes place 1,200 years before The Phantom Menace. So, Diane, and, and, it, and it respects more of the lore created by George Lucas, so dying by a knife, it's a little bit more plausible. But anyways, uh, when she gets stabbed because she got, she got tricked with this, this is the problem. For me, this is the main problem. Right there. That reaction, that reaction from the Acolyte shows that she was surprised <laughs> that she actually killed the Jedi. She's just like, what have I done to thee? You know? Like, it's, it's, it's bad acting on her end, to be honest with you. And she looks surprised. And that's the problem. She doesn't look like she was expecting this outcome. So that's a problem. 
because she's supposed to be a trained assassin, right? She's supposed to be an acolyte. Like she's, she's about to become a Sith. So her power level should be like superior than a merely, oh, did I just do that? <gasps> did, did I? And then we have these little trumpets in the background that are just kind of nostalgic. Finally, when she gets up, that face kind of gets, gives a little bit of confidence. So that's, that's good. So what I decided to do is to cut that initial expression. Where she's surprised that she actually did it. And adding a little bit of music... Having that, that, that little sting of music will convey the feeling of confidence and terror. So now the scene looks like this. You see? So that way, we, we still have the sense that the Acolyte is a threat. Like, she knew. Like, she, she, she came in for the kill. You know? She came in because she, she knew what she was doing. And just gives more mystery to the character. Then, here's the thing. When Master Trinity dies, we see this shot. Like, what's the point? Like, I just want to know, what's the point of her just standing over? We still... We still don't know anything about this character. And Master Trinity is not, in the whole scheme of things is not that important to spend that much time just like, did I do this? Especially because her reaction is not defined. Her reaction is very ambiguous. So what I decided to do is just cut that reaction and add a little bit of music. You see? So adding that that the theme of, of of evilness, now you have this. That way now you have a character that came in, did not waste time did her thing, and I was like, okay, I'm done. I finished my job. You see, it's all about the details. It's all about how you manage things. Again, remember, this is still the rough cut of the movie. This is still the rough cut of the movie. So I'm, there's still a lot of like little details that I'm like finessing and everything. But I wanted to show you uh, from the get-go some of the things that I've been doing and how it's my thought process behind you know, some of the fixes and everything. Let me know if you like this video and if you like this type of video so I can do do more. Um, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully this was an entertaining ex experience for you. Now, if you want to watch me do this live, remember, you can just click that notification button because I do announce the live streams about five hours before before they happen. So you can watch me do this live and my thought process behind it. Now, you're probably saying like, Ivan, I, I missed the stream. Where can I find it? Unless you're a channel member, you won't be able to. Channel members have access to those re-edit re live sessions after they happen. Whenever I make them live, it's for free to everyone. Anyone can watch it. It's just when they go... Um, when they go into the YouTube repository, that's when they become uh, member only. Well, anyways, 
And that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Click subscribe and do all that shit. And I'll see you later. Bye.